Hey Virgo, welcome to your September 2019 general reading. Thank you so much for joining me. And first and foremost, happy birthday, happy Virgo season. Um, if you are new to my channel, I always encourage everyone to comment their birthdays down in the comment section. So definitely represent for Virgo gang. Put your birthday down there, see if you can find your birthday twin, and let us know what you're going to be doing for your birthdays, all right? So Virgos, this reading is going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon and Rising, there's a link down in my description. You can click that link and figure out what your Moon and Rising sign is, and I also highly suggest that you watch those videos as well. Just to get additional messages for the month of September, and also in case the messages don't resonate with you here in this reading, all right Virgos? Okay, sorry, I got the sniffles. Okay, I have allergies all summer long, but it's okay. All right, Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. Universe, please tap into the energy of Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. What is the energy that you see currently around Virgos? And currently could mean whenever you're watching this video, could be your recent past. What energy do you see around Virgos currently? What energy do you see surrounding Virgos? Okay, the cards are not ready to talk yet. Let's give them another shuffle. Virgos, are you guys keeping secrets again? <laughs> Your readings have been so weird the past couple of months. What's the energy around Virgo? It's been so hard to like pick up on your energy because I feel like you guys have been keeping a lot to yourself. But now you have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so now you're ready to talk. This is good. Um, Virgos, you guys have been doing a lot of thinking, and I feel like now that you're in your season, you kind of feel ready to express those thoughts to others. Whoops. <laughs> you're ready to communicate to others. You're ready to bring clarity and truth to a situation. So I like this. I like seeing this change in energy for you. I feel like you're ready to discuss a lot of the things that have been on your mind, um, or you're ready to be expressive, communicate more. Be more communicative okay what energy do you see around Virgo what energy universe do you see around Virgo <laughs> oh sorry about that you guys have been getting this card in your reading so much again with the secrets okay I feel like you guys are ready to communicate about something you've been thinking about something you've been hiding Virgos, if you guys look back at any of my older videos, you will see that the Seven of Swords comes out constantly in your readings, especially love readings. There is some secret that's here. Okay, this could be the energy around you. If you're not the one keeping a secret, someone's keeping a secret from you. But this, the energy around you is finding truth in something that was hidden. All right, now the secret will be different for every Virgo, but I just, <laughs> it's so funny that this came out because I'm like, oh, finally, yes, Virgo's going to speak on it. You know, when the Ace of Swords came out, I'm like, okay, finally, we're getting to the truth. We're communicating here. You know, you are communicating about something that you've been hiding for a while. Again, with the Page of Cups talking about communication, having like a heart-to-heart -heart discussion or discussing how you feel as well. Okay. What does he show me? What's the energy around Virgo? What's the energy around Virgo? What is the subject that Virgo's communicating on? What has Virgo been hiding? The chariot card. Also representative of Cancer. A lot of you Virgos, again, I was saying in a previous video, you guys are thinking about relocating. Um, this doesn't have to be long distance, though the chariot does talk about long distance travel. I feel like you guys want to switch where you are. It's almost like an energy of wanting to pack up and leave and go somewhere um a lot of you may want to move out of the current place you're staying a lot of you want to move out of the city you're staying there's this energy of wanting to relocate to move to make progress somewhere or you could be dealing with the cancer maybe there's some things some secrets you've been keeping from a cancer or some secrets that a cancer has been keeping from you or someone's taking like a secret trip <laughs> Or someone is secretly coming in to visit. But I get more like packing your bags and going somewhere. Someone could be communicating that they're leaving. They've been thinking about it for a while, but they haven't spoken on it. Three of Cups. 
some of you it could involve third party situation, doesn't always have to. I did see another three at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we'll take them all. The moon card, Pisces energy, also energy of secrecy. There's a secret gathering, yeah, and then the two of, of wands. There's a, you know, for some of you, you could be meeting someone in secret. Some of you are seeing someone in secret. Um, this person is from a distance. Some of you have made a decision to leave one person behind and to travel to someone else. Now, again, when I say travel, it doesn't necessarily have to mean long distance travel, but it could be. But you're leaving one situation to go to the next. And I get that. I see, like, even though the Seven of Swords usually means, like, sneakiness, it isn't always. I'm getting, like, packing my bags, right, and walking away, taking my stuff with me, and going somewhere else, going towards my truth, going towards a new beginning here. A lot of you, I feel like you could be leaving at night or you're thinking about sneaking out. Like there's this energy of like sneaking out at night, <laughs> right? Oh, no. <laughs> so, you know, Virgos, either someone's doing this to you or you're doing this to someone. But for a long time, I've been seeing energy about like secrets around you, secrets surrounding you. It could be you keeping secrets or the person you're dealing with keeping secrets or someone's plotting to do something in secrecy and it's not yet exposed. But soon decisions will be made to move forward in a different direction. All right, Virgo. So let's pull some cards to see what is going to be coming towards you in the month of September. So this is the energy coming towards you. It could be in your physical realm. Um, what's to come in the near future kind of energy. This is the energy that you should be expecting or looking out for that's coming towards you, okay? So, universe, please pick up the energy. Show me what's coming towards Virgos in the month of September. What is coming towards Virgo? I see a lot of water energy coming towards you. Water sign person for a lot of you. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, someone is coming towards you. Could be an earth sign like you. This is, again, you packing up your stuff, getting on your horse, taking a trip. There's something you want to invest in, too. But this could be someone coming towards you, um, traveling to you again. I get a lot of energy of traveling to you. Something's coming your direction, coming your way. They may want to make an offer to you. This is a good offer. This is a steady offer. What's coming towards Virgo? coming towards Virgo the star card card of Aquarius okay someone you know a lot of you have been wishing for someone to come into your life or to connect or wishing to travel or to go somewhere there's an energy of like pursuing your dreams Someone's pursuing their dreams or someone's pursuing something that they are very hopeful about and they wish for. Beautiful energy coming towards you. Wow. <laughs> Here he goes again, Mr. Cancer, Cancerian energy, that travel energy, that movement. Something is coming your way quickly. This is positive energy. If you're hoping that, you know, someone maybe that you had falling out with maybe they're coming back to you this could also represent someone that you've been wishing for hoping for a long distance relationship you're traveling to to be with your person something like that i love how all the stars are here there's stars here in his canopy here and then also representing here the star with all the stars like this is something I also get like nighttime energy. I see a lot of like seeing each other at night. Someone may come into your life. If this is not someone you know already, you're going to meet this person like at night, I'm seeing. Or like at sunset kind of an energy. Who is this Knight of Pentacles? <laughs> I need to know. Who is this Knight of Pentacles representing? Who is this Knight of Pentacles representing? It could always so be you, Virgo. It could always be you. But who is this Knight of Pentacles 
Okay, cards are flipping, but I need one to jump out. Just jump out at me. One card, please. To jump out. Thank you. Of course. Ace of Cups. This person is someone who wants to have a beginning, a start, offering love. They're offering something, a loving commitment. You could be traveling or offering that to someone here. What is the chariot representing? That flew out a little too quickly. <laughs> Again, that two of wands making decisions. What is the chariot representing? Someone's making a decision to, to up and go or to move towards something that they want. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. It's a general reading. What is this chariot? You guys have a lot of cards flipping. What is the chariot? Four of Pentacles. This is something very stable, solid. Someone that you hold very dear. What is the uh, chariot representing here? One more for the chariot. Again with the moon card. So this is someone... Someone who you feel in your gut, your intuition. It could be a Pisces as well. Someone... Who you feel this very spiritual attachment to it's almost like dreamy like i feel like for some of you it literally represent your dreams the cancer uh, that's cancer <laughs> the chariot card is literally representing something you're dreaming of you've been saving a lot of money you've made some decisions and now you're following your dreams you're following your passion you know a lot of you this is talking about the person of your dreams i know it sounds a little corny but <laughs> this is someone who's coming in and it's with the star card here and the ace of cups this is someone you've been wishing for that's coming towards you quickly and they've already made a decision that they want to have something solid and stable with you you guys have a very spiritual connection here with the moon card so that is very beautiful for a lot of you virgos very beautiful let's see what the outcome is going to be so again, remember, it could be love or it could be just following your dreams, pursuing your passions. Either way, you're going for what it is that you wish most for. What's the outcome for Virgo in the month of September? What is the outcome for Virgo? I saw that world's card flip. Again, more travel. A lot of you Virgos are traveling. The hangman. Feeling enlightened. After a lot of thinking and soul searching, you feel enlightened. You feel illuminated. Things seem very clear to you this month. That's why you had the Ace of Swords, because you're starting to gain a lot of clarity in a situation where you were very confused by. <laughs> Remember I said the world card had been flipped? Now it wants to come out. You are, you've gained a lot of clarity in the situation and now you're moving forward. You're, you're moving into a new chapter, stepping into a new chapter, major arcana energy here. So this is energy that is going to happen. You may be physically moving. Again, a lot of you are traveling. There's strong energy of relocation, strong energy of gaining some sort of wisdom and knowledge here, like very spiritual and very influential information that helps you level up helps to evolve so big evolution for virgos helps you move forward helps you build gives you the tools that you need is what i'm getting here you finally have the tools that you need you may have been stuck for a while not knowing how to action on some kind of plan you've been thinking about but now you're putting that into 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 action you have the tools you need to move forward and you're working very hard very hard for your future and to be happy this card has been coming up a lot in the readings for September you could be dealing with a Libra this is the card of Libra but to me it's saying that you're at peace and the hard days are over the worst is over feeling defeated that energy is over you feel like you've conquered a lot in the past couple of months this year because you've been through a lot you've been through a lot of ups and downs
but that energy is over beautiful because you have justice here and justice is saying that things are going to turn out in your favor and again justice is also the card of Libra so if you're dealing with the Libra that situation may be over for some of you and um, you're moving forward or you're moving on for others of you you're working on it but for a lot of you you're leaving um, you're ending things with the Libra as well or you're just ending dark times and things are going to go in your favor so three great major arcanas here for your outcome okay I'm back sorry I keep pausing I just my nose is so runny I don't want to keep sniffling throughout the reading so let's pull some cards for your advice okay What's the advice you have for Virgos in September? What is the advice? What is the advice for Virgo in the month of September? You know, you guys are getting a lot of repeating cards here. And you see this. This is like the third time this has come out, as well as the moon card. Follow your intuition, Virgo. You've been thinking for a long time, and your intuition is trying to lead you to, a, to, to your next step because you are at a crossroads. A lot of you Virgos are on a crossroads and you don't know which way to go. And I like how you had the world card come out in your outcome and he's holding the world in his hand. So you have big decisions to make as far as like where you're headed. And your, your gut is guiding you. Your intuition is guiding you. Listen to it. It's time for you to make a decision also is what I'm getting. Yeah, you see, again, this is, this is your card, Virgo. This is about to be the Virgo card, <laughs> the Seven of Swords, all right? It's time for you to move towards that new beginning. Go for that, that wand here. Grab it. Grab that new beginning. Take your stuff and go. You can't stay stuck in this crossroads situation for too long. It's time for you to take your things and move forward. Pack your bags is what I'm hearing also. Oh, my goodness. Enough. <laughs> enough pack your bags and go on that trip if you've been wondering about should I relocate should I move should I make this decision should I take a chance take a risk the answer is yes you're going to be successful in it wow Virgo this was super cool this was super super cool thank you so much for watching this video if you guys want to do um, a personal reading with me the link is in my description. I would love to do one for you and get all the answers and clarity that you need for your specific situation. And thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.